Hey guys, it's Chris and I'm here with another lesson for you on my channel. This week what I want to cover is uh, called tremolo picking and or trem picking. Uh, basically it's just the ability to pick back and forth very fast and to have it in a synchronized pattern, synchronized with time. So how you've probably ever heard it is with distortion, uh, really heavy gainy distortion and in a very fast pattern so um, something you've probably heard not in any songs in particular but uh, the trem picking part would sound something like this uh, as you can see it requires you to be able to move your right hand back and forth very quickly and the trem picking part of it is that before when you were strumming you just go All of which are downstrokes. Now in doing the downstrokes it's all well and good but you can't really move fast because in order to move as fast as I'm moving you need to be able to alternate which is also called alternate picking, trem picking. It's gotten a lot of different names but really what it is is it's the ability to pick back and forth very quickly so to do that in big leaping motions to show you what I'm talking about you want to go down and then come back up and hit that same string again. So it's down, up, down, up, down, up. So that's what we're doing for trem picking. So the thing you can do with that to practice is you can just sit on an open string, you know, take this left hand away from here and just sit there on the string. And kind of get a feel for how the string bounces, you know, it, it responds in a particular way. Uh, lots of people use different kinds of picks, thick picks, medium picks, thin picks. Uh, there's a whole school of thought depending on what you're doing and what you'd like to do. Uh, I'm not going to get into that right now. Really what I want you to do is take the current pick you're using, whichever it might be, and then I want you to get used to picking back and forth. So what you should be able to do is this sound here that we're all doing with downstrokes right there, you should be able to have that same sound going, but you want to alternate. So... So as you can see, I've got that same sound, but then I alternate. And then what you want to do is you want to be able to speed it up. So you want to be going and pick it up a little bit. So as time goes on you'll get used to how that feels. The best thing I can tell you about how to control your trem picking is that the faster you go it's less about your wrist and it's more about your elbow. Uh, and I know that sounds kind of weird but what I mean by that is that you want to keep this part of your arm pretty rigid you know when you're doing the trem picking so you want all of your movement to be in like your bicep and in your in your elbow you want your movement to really be in there so instead of going you know like and getting all that noise you want something controlled because you want this pick to be controlled and focused right around this string how you do that is you lock your wrist and leave that in a good place and you grab onto the string. So get used to doing what I'm doing there. I'm just moving it with my elbow. And then when you want to go faster, it becomes a very rigid motion, almost kind of like when you're cold, your muscles freeze and you start to shake. It's got that kind of a feeling to it is the best way I can describe it. So when you're doing this, you want to go faster. So that's what you want to get used to. You want to be able to go, keep it in time too. Tap it with your foot to so go one, two, three, four. Double it. So 
So once you're able to do that, you want to speed it up. You continually want to double it. So you can count that off by going one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four, and go one and two and three and four and one. So when you're doing this, there's a lot more to incorporate into it. You know, we'll want to get used to putting the notes in like I've been starting to do. But before we even get into that, we just want to understand the particular concept. So there will be a couple of lessons on this in particular. In short, what I want you to do is I want you to get used to the feeling of each of the individual strings here. Remember in this particular lesson, we want to be able to alternate our picking. You want to be able to try this on all six strings too. It's important that you don't just do this on your high E. You want to do it on the on your other strings too, B, G, D, A. You want to do them all. And you want to get used to the feeling because they respond differently to alternate picking. So when you're picking on your low E here, your low E will respond completely differently to alternate picking than your high E. Normally what I do in a particular sense, and I didn't really notice it until I started recording this lesson, is that you want to have a firmer grip when you're alternate picking on a lower, thicker string. So. And then what I'll do is I'll loosen my grip on my pick a little bit, not a lot. It's just ever so slightly a looser grip on the pick. And the reason I do that is because it allows the pick to move a little bit. It gives it some flexibility so that you can move between the strings a little faster. So when you do eventually go and you start moving between the different strings, it gives you a better flow and it allows you to uh, easily move between the strings. So that's what I want you to do for this particular lesson. I want you to get started on trem picking. Understand that it's an up and down motion. It should be kept in time. You should be able to speed it up and you want to get as fast as you can. Remember to use that elbow, use that bicep. You want to lock that wrist so that you can get those nice fast sounds. So. and then you'll be able to move nice and fast like that and then before you know it you'll be able to move to other strings and you'll be able to use it with patterns and we're going to go into all that detail but for now let's just focus on the fact that we need to be able to move back and forth very quickly we need to be able to pick faster and faster with a beat um, you know and then eventually be able to go like <laughs> be able to focus that more. Now that was a little sloppy, but the point is to practice and get slow, uh, start slow and get fast. So I'll teach you how to do all those different kinds of things as we go on in these lessons. It's really important that you sit there and focus your trem picking and get it detailed. You want to be able to do it nice and clean. So whether it's open strings, whether you're playing with notes, get used to it. You know, it's got to be nice and clean. You want to get a good feel for it and know where your fingers are. So get used to that trem picking part and then we'll get, we'll get you into putting it together with shapes, moving around the neck, and using it as a versatile tool in your arsenal. So um, if you have any questions on this video, go ahead and let me know. I'll respond back to you as soon as I can. If you want, I'll add more details. Uh, if you want, you can tell me on a Facebook message or drop a post on it and I'll get back to you with any other information I can. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.